Welcome back, this is Nick Agram. Domain and range. Definition, the domain of a relation is the set of values of x in the relation. So we go first with the domain. So for this example that I have here, the domain, I will put it D. I will write it this domain. <laughs> Lazy. Okay, let's see. All x, values of x in the relation, okay? As you can see here, if I will continue here, all the x is included. So I, I will have all values of x. Or I can use this one, x such that all set of x, all values of x such that x is an element of a real number you can use that way okay let's see here the domain for this uh, as you can see here it is very near very near from from this one this line is very important our x here very near x is equal to 2 but it is not equal to 2 it, it doesn't touch x is equal to 2 so that means all x but x should not be equal to 2 okay the next one here the domain here is uh, as you can see from negative 1 here from negative 1 to infinity so we have uh, sets of all x such that x is greater than or equal to because this one is uh, solid if it's not solid then it is not included negative one okay and then we have range range okay the range of a relation is the set of values of y in the relation yeah i should say allowed is a set of allowed values of y okay L let's say range so the y is from 1 here as you can see here 1 so the set of y such that y is less than or equal to 1 how about here as you can see here I can use this notation also here sorry and here y such that y is not equal to 1 it touches y is equal to add uh, it's very near y is equal to 1 but it doesn't touch uh, y is equal to 1 so that is your uh, limitation okay and here we have y such that you have negative 3 here and up so I have y is greater than or equal to a negative 3 let's continue uh, for each of the following graphs state the domain and range we will start with the domain domain As you can see here from 8 the our x is 8 to the negative infinity so that means the values of x such that x is less than or equal to 8 How about here the values of x such that as you can see here it goes that way and it goes that way into infinity then we have x is an element of a real number or all values of x you can you can also write that way okay then now it is the range then we have y the values of y such that the lowest is negative 2 and it goes up to infinity 
and we have y is greater than or equal to negative 2 and here we have the lowest is negative 1 here so we have y such that y is greater than or equal to negative 1. Mm -hmm. Let's try another example without the graph now. State the domain and range of each of the following functions. If you have a graphing calculator, then you can use that and you can see the range and uh, the, the domain and the range. But if you don't have, then you need to see you have to put a value of x and uh, you can see if if it allows or not so we have the domain okay if i'm going to put uh, a value of this this uh, of x so, such that it allows me then it should be positive so that means x m minus 5 should be greater than or equal to zero always because I don't I don't have if I have negative here then it should be error it should be what's this imaginary number complex number yeah no imaginary number okay so that means x should be greater than or equal to five so our domain is all x such that x is greater than or equal to 5. Our domain in B, as you can see here, I x minus 5 should not be equal to 0. So that means I can have all the values of x except when x is not equal to so that means x minus 5 is equal to 0 so x should not be equal to 5 so my range here is all the values of x such that x should not be equal to 5 because when that happens then I have the denominator equal to 0 then it is not acceptable Okay, here also, I should have here, aside from x minus 5 should not be equal to 0, aside from that, x minus 5 should not be less than 0 either. So I have 2. So this means that I have my range now x such that x should be greater than 5 yeah greater than 5 not equal to 5 because if i have equal to 5 then then uh, i get 0 here then it is not allowed okay now it is the range let's see the range as you can see here if i my x is equal to 5 we we said that it is equal to 5 then i have it should be x is greater than or equal to 5 so when x is equal to 5 then i have 0 so it should be my range now is y the smallest should be such that y is greater than or equal to 0 not more than that okay not less than zero okay here let's see we can have negative here for x then we can have uh, uh, what's this we can have positive number here big negative numbers or small negative numbers it's all right as long as x is equal to is not equal to five so when it is very big, it is almost zero. Okay, when this is now very big number, and then it is almost zero, but it is not zero. Okay, 
when it is a negative number, it's the same. It's almost zero, but uh, it's not zero. So our range here now is y such that y is not equal to zero. Never be zero. Okay, here now though, uh, if this is a very big number now, we cannot have greater than 5, for example. Very, very big number. And uh, it is very near ne 0, but it is not 0. Then we have y such that y is greater than 0. The difference between these two and these two is that I can have negative numbers in B. I have negative, I can have negative value of X in B, but I, I don't, I cannot have negative numbers or a negative value of um, X in C. That's the difference. Okay, I hope you understand. Domain and range is one of the most difficult the concept that the, my students understand because it's very abstract and uh, I hope you understand hmm? and I hope you learn something and uh, on my next video I will be discussing composite functions uh, even more abstract and I hope you can um, watch my next video also and I am going to say again, thank you for watching and I hope you learned something. If you like what I am doing, please subscribe. Have a nice day.